Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and calibration is subjective, as we all know. And on this video, I'm going to show you my best picture settings for this TV right here. This is the Hisense UAN. Out of the box, this TV has a few colors that are off, as you can see in this display. And after the calibration, you can see that it was some improvements, but it's not perfect. And here's the results. After using the calibration software, you can see that there's a lot of points that are pretty spot on. In order to do this, I'm using my Apple iMac Pro with parallel software to run Windows 11 for stability. I also have this color checker and what this device does, it connects to USB and then it will pick up the different color patterns on the screen. In order to show you the color patterns, I decided to go old school because this is a new trial before I invest a lot of money, but this is a Video Forge HDMI and what this does it connects to the computer and it sends out patterns that the computer can read to get accurate colors. The reason I say calibration is subjective is because everyone has the way they do it. I pretty much use the factory settings and I set up the brightness at 80%. So that's kind of ideal how I did this as I learned it more. I'll go into a little bit more details and we're using SDR mode on this particular video. For watching movies, Hisense use a feature called Theater Day Mode, and this is an example of what it looks like. They also have one that's called Theater Night Mode, and this is an example of what that looks like. And this final example is what it looks like after I calibrate it, but I used a game setting for demo purposes, so I didn't override the settings that's already in the TV. And here's a second example of all these different picture profiles. And for me, I think when you calibrate the TV, it's gonna make it a little bit more on the warm side, but this is something that you guys have been asking for, so here you go. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but I wanna give a special thanks to Portrait Display for giving me access to the full edition of the Calvin software, which retails for about $3,000, and we have a whole year to play with it. And if you have a certain television, they do have smaller packages that's available. I'll leave all those links in the description below. For that being said, let's get into it. So let's talk about the calibration. First of all, what you wanna do is go into your settings so we can get everything started. Now under display and sounds, we wanna go to picture. Since you don't have the calibration software to put all these parameters in, just choose one of the settings that you're not using a lot so we can add these settings. I use PC and game because that was the option in the calibration software. But if we go down here, you wanna make sure that you turn off this feature where it automatically detects content. You wanna also turn off intelligent scenes so it doesn't override the calibration settings. And you wanna make sure that the light sensor is turned off unless you want the TV to adjust the brightness. And I do recommend you turn off auto light sensor, but if you want the TV to adjust itself based off the light in the room, you can still use that feature. In order to do this calibration, I went over to calibration setting here in this TV and I basically turned it on. And then I took this information, input it into the software so the computer can automatically adjust the calibration for me. And if you notice here at the bottom, if you need to, you can clear all the calibration settings out. But keep in mind, you will not have these options unless you plan on buying the Calman software. With that being said, let's get into the settings. When it comes to local dimming and peak brightness, you can change this how you like because the colors is the most important. In the calibration software, I did set up the brightness to 80%. You can dim it down if you need to, but this is the calibration settings. So your brightness is gonna be at 80%, contrast will be at 40, and then your black level is gonna be at zero. For the calibration I did, I did the gamma at 2.2 and everything else is turned off, but you can tweak it out if you wanted to. Now, when we get into the colors, I have the color at 50%, hue at zero, warm, the blue light turned off. I'm using the native color space and then I have dynamic color enhancer off. I have sharpness at 25. The smooth gradient is turned off, but you can turn this back on if you need to. Super resolution is on and pretty much everything else is off. But keep in mind the calibration software does not adjust these settings. It just turns everything off so it gives you the best picture quality. Now as far as the calibration settings, you can see that it didn't make any changes to any of the colors right here. But what we did is a white balance using two point. So here's the settings that you need to change it to. The red offset's gonna be zero. The G offset's gonna be negative two. The B offset's gonna be negative four. The red gain is going to be at plus one. The green gain is going to be at 25. The blue gain is going to be at negative 25. 
I didn't do a 20 point calibration, so you can just leave that turned off. And as far as the gamma calibration, it's set at 5%. So that's the settings and keep in mind a few things. This is a United States Google version of this television, but I know if you live in the EU, they do have Vita, so I'm not sure if these settings will work. Also, this is a 65 inch TV. It may not work on a 55 or 75, but it's worth a shot because it doesn't hurt to go back into the picture settings and press reset picture mode. With that being said, give me some feedback. If you go try out these settings, let me know in the comments below if your picture looks better, worse, or the same. I would love to know if this is working. I'm Tech Steve. If you haven't already, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.